Bonjour everyone and welcome back to my channel The Waves of Your Soul. Today I wanted to do a very quick but incisive tarot reading around what are the changes coming to your life and how to best prepare for it as well as advice from your higher self, from your guide so that you can welcome those changes and so that they can work for you and not against you. So if it is your first time here, hello, my name is Maureen, I'm a French tarot reader and a lover of all things tarot, oracle and self-empowerment related. So if you'd like to see any more of the things on your timeline as well as videos around intuitive guidance, empowering tarot readings, then make sure to hit the subscribe button because I upload every single week. So today for our change, upcoming change tarot reading, as you can see in front of you, you have three different choices and today I have three different tarot decks. Each pile or each deck is going to contain a different message. All you have to do is connect to your intuition, to your inner knowing, to decide which is the pile that is calling out to you the most. You will find in the description box below timestamps that will take you straight to your reading. So today we have three different tarot decks. The first one for pile number one that you can choose intuitively with is the um, Hanson Roberts tarot and it's a very popular deck that is from the 70s I believe so it's a classical deck it's been around for a few decades so it's an oldie but a goodie this is for choice number one for choice number two pan number two you can choose with the number two or being called by this imagery and this tarot deck is a hidden realm tarot and it's very fey energy very grounded in um, nature um, and very fantasy fey like vibes so this is for choice number two or pile number three or choice number three i have the modern witch tarot which is a very modern take on the rws as you can see it's very fun very colorful very vibrant so if you are called to this particular deck at this moment in time or to the number three your message will be in the pile number three so to help you pick i'm also going to choose a little uh, symbol today and that can also be a way for you to choose if you can't be choosing just with tarot decks so let's see in order to help you choose we'll pull a symbol for each uh, deck and this is a little deck i little oracle i drew myself okay so pile number one we have the scissors for pile number two you can choose with this particular symbol the candle beautiful and for pile number three we have the crown beautiful so those three symbols can also help you choose the pile that is calling out to you the most okay so for anyone who needs a little bit more time to choose the pile that is calling out to them i'm gonna insert a very quick 30 second meditation video during this meditation you will still see an image of the three piles but you will also see beautiful scenery from where i use this meditation time to take some deep breaths imagine your breathing is like a tide washing on your inner oceans so that you can connect to the waves of your soul. For anyone else, you can head straight to your reading starting now. Okay, my pile number one, welcome to your reading. So if you chose the Hanson Robert tarot or if you chose using the scissors symbol, then this is going to be the reading for you. As I mentioned in the introduction, today our reading is fully dedicated to um, finding out the changes coming up for you. So we're going to be doing a quick tarot spread and we're going to be finding out the changes coming to your life for you, my pile number one. So first off, we're going to pick a card that's going to represent where you are right now, your present self, potentially the energies of what's going on around you. That's going to be our first card right here. The second cards, second and third, are going to represent the changes that are coming your way. So this is very much what changes are arriving in your life. And um, the next two cards are going to represent what you can do to best prepare for those changes in your life right there and finally the fourth card is going to represent an advice from your higher self from your guides and we're going to be putting that right here okay 
So let's go, my pile number one, your present self, where you are right now, the world, wow. Okay, so you really are at a point right now where you've just ended a powerful life cycle. My pile number one, you've just gone through a major transformation, a major change, and this is why the world card is coming up. The world card is a major arcana card in the tarot. That is the last card of the major arcana, it's number 21. And then we go back to number zero or to number one. And we start the whole cycle all over again. So the world card talks about this idea of completion, of finishing something, of reaching a life cycle. The end is, you know, you're reaching the end of the tunnel and now you're about to start a whole new path, a whole new fresh start. So some of you might have um, going through a big transition in the sense of you're graduating from school or you are ending your job or you've just finished a special relationship or you're at a time in your life where you're finishing your special phase, like moving from being a teenager to an adult, or from being a working, from working to retiring. You know, it's kind of like a big kind of life transformation. If it's not to do with outer world changes, it's definitely internally. You're at a space right now, my pal number one, where internally you have reached a point of completion in, the, in that particular phase of your inner self. And you're about to embark on a new journey. It could be internal. You you could be starting a new life cycle where you start to go a little bit deeper with yourself, a new spiritual awakening, new life lesson you're going to learn. But there's really, I feel like you're on the threshold of something, my pal number one. I see a door opening for you, a portal, a crossroad. And now whichever path you choose, there's no wrong path, but it's definitely the idea of it's time to start something new, go somewhere you've never been before, whether it's internally or externally. Beautiful. And this potentially is why the scissors came up for you, because we are cutting away from the past, we're cutting any energetic cords that were holding us back, and we're ready to welcome this new fresh energy into our lives. Beautiful. Okay, so this is going to represent the changes coming your way now that you're, you know, finished a certain cycle within yourself. We're going to be finding out the changes um, coming for you, my Paloma one. And wow, look at that. We have the hangman and strength. Two major arcana cards. Okay, so this is a powerful, important time in your growth for your soul evolution, for your soul journey, my pal number one. This is a time where there are big events at play, where you can really feel your life um, changing fully and where you really feel like destiny, fate, and your willpower are all coming together. It's almost like the universe has been nudging you to go a certain way and now things are moving forward. So in terms of changes, strength and hangman is letting me know that um, you might be challenged a certain way in terms of your beliefs, your um, values, etc. Challenge is not necessarily a bad thing. I don't mean that it's going to be a struggle. I mean that some of you in this new life cycle, in this new journey you're going to take, some of your beliefs, some of your values are going to change. And again, this is why we have the scissors here, because I can really sense that for you, some of the things that you used to prioritize before, the last weeks, last few months, last few years, you're not going to be prioritizing those things any longer. With the hangman, there's an idea of you're deciding to really go back within yourself. This is what change is coming to your life, my pal number one, is this idea of re-evaluating where, where you put your energy, where you put your intention, where you put your value, where you put your time, your self-worth, your money, and where do you invest? And that is going to bring you immense self-knowledge, immense self-worth, and the change is coming for you, my pal number one, is this idea of getting to know yourself even more, being even more in tune with yourself, and that in turn should allow you to flow more easily with life. It's almost like you've decided to move away from a path of resistance into a path of welcoming in change, welcoming in flow and welcoming in whatever the universe sends your way. With the hangman and strength, I can really sense that for you, the changes are going to be very deep and very internal. So to the naked eye, to your friends or your colleagues or your family, they might not notice huge changes externally. You might look the same physically, you know, your lifestyle might look the same, your habits, your, even your job potentially, but internally you're really shedding some skin. It's like a snake shedding skins. I see huge transformation. I see huge reconsideration of what do you prioritize. There's this huge idea here where you're realizing your values are changing and that 
that's good that's, that's important it's it's like a soul growth you're deciding that you're no longer your past self and you're valuing more things that are i can sense a lot deeper a lot of you are going to prioritize your self-care a lot of you are going to prioritize your your peace your self-respect your self-worth your spirituality as well for some of you um some of you are going to decide to prioritize certain relationships that actually bring you joy some of you are going to prioritize working on your businesses i i, I can sense some of you are starting your business potentially in the next few weeks next few months launching your a new career or launching a new passion but that's something that is in alignment with your soul not something you're doing because you feel like that's what you should be doing or because your parents told you to do it or because society told you that this is what you should be doing but it's because it's something that you know within yourself will bring you illumination will will align you with your path and something that is really in alignment with your vibration in alignment with your soul so that's a beautiful kind of um, change coming your way my palomo and i'm very excited for you especially because we have the sen the strength card here that's coming as a way to say everything is going to be okay you're going to be able to move forward in a way that it's not going to be I, again like i don't see any resistance it shouldn't be a struggle everything is like falling into place and also it's to remind you that of your the power of your inner power of um your inner strength of your resilience of your bravery so strength card is really a beautiful energy here that is encouraging you to keep going even when you feel like potentially you are not worth it or even when you feel like it's not going to happen for you or even when you feel like um you might be losing hope strength card is there to say don't give up uh, okay so remember we said those cards right here are going to represent what um, can you do to prepare for this change to welcome it to best approach it and we have those two cards here we have the eight of pentacles and the six of uh, wands beautiful okay so what can you do to prepare for this ch upcoming change my palm one um, put in the work with this eight of pentacles put in the work dedicate yourself Remember I said I can sense some of you are prioritizing relationships, some of you are starting your businesses, some of you are prioritizing your self-worth, your you're thinking about yourself, you're putting yourself first, but not in a way that it's selfish, in a way where you're setting your life up for the future, you're planting the seeds for your future, you're finally deciding to align yourself with your life journey, with what you've always wanted to do, and that is beautiful, and the only way to keep going is to do the work so if you've been working on a spiritual path continue the work continue the introspection continue the work of getting to know your deeper self your shadow work etc if you've been starting to thinking about launching your business keep going dedicate your time invest in your knowledge if you're thinking about you know whatever it is there's this idea of investing your time your energy your intention because it will bear fruits it will be a success we have the six of wands here which is of course the card of success of your passions being rewarded everything you're gonna implement all your efforts will pay off my pile number one so this is a hugely positive combo here remember i said you're at a crossroad right now so the path you're gonna take this new threshold you're you're crossing um, whatever you put your intentions in it will bring you success if you decide to put the work and also if you kind of focus again I really get this idea that the universe is like you need to focus on you and you need to tune out other people's um, right now is not the time to be asking everyone else opinion and right now is not the time to be diluting your power by focusing too much on what other people think sometimes it's important to welcome in other people's point of view etc but now is not the time we have a lot of cards here that are pointing towards uh, letting you know that you are your own mentor you are your own teacher and if you have questions you need to go within to find the answers nobody else is going to be able to give you the right answers with this hangman here this is really a time for going within so that you can listen to your inner wise person your inner sage your inner higher self by going within introspection quiet time inviting stillness inviting time for silence but where you can reconnect with yourself you will find out all the answers to the question you have right now on how to best move forward for success but i can definitely see success anyway beautiful okay so with last card right here was an advice from your higher self from your guide and we have the eight of cups yep 
remember we had the scissors here this is no joke i you know this is like truly works in wonderful ways <laughs> i love when this happens so we had the scissors and now we have the eight of cups the universe is like it is time to walk away from what has not worked from what has been burdening you down it is time to close the chapter remember we had the world card here saying like this is the end the completion if some of you were tempted so far to carry some of the past things with you that might be um, continue something that you feel within is no longer working but yet you still want to continue because you feel like you invested too much time into it or too much love into it or too much effort the universe is like know when it is time to just drop and start fresh and now is the time for a fresh start now is the time for feeling okay and not feeling like if you leave something behind nothing better will come because whatever comes after will be better for you more suited for you more nourishing for you more fulfilling for you so even though it might feel scary to leave relationships behind or an old version of ourselves behind or habits behind or value remember i said for some of you you're leaving old values behind that can feel scary this eight, eight of cups walking away from something that can feel really daunting but what comes after is gonna be successful is gonna be bringing you so much joy abundance prosperity and self-worth so cut the past that no longer resonates with you away cut those energetic cords walk away it's time to say goodbye is what i'm hearing it's time to say goodbye but it's not a sad goodbye it's the kind of goodbye where you're excited because you know that what's coming next is so but so bright so beautiful so say goodbye my pile number one um so that you can welcome in the new beautiful beautiful message right there from your guides okay we're gonna pull one little last card for advice i wanted to do this reading quite quick um dense anyway beautiful so see remember that things don't have to be so heavy remember to move your body remember to invite joy to invite light to invite fun listen to music dance in your living room in your bedroom um, and enjoy the present moment as well beautiful so this is what i'm seeing for you my pal number one i hope you enjoyed this quick reading if you did don't hesitate to leave my video a thumbs up it really helps my channel to grow and it's a nice exchange of energy especially if the reading resonated with you i really appreciate it if you're not yet subscribed to my channel i invite you to do so because i post regular pick a card readings empowering tarot readings and tarot and oracle related content and until my next video, as per usual, I am sending you lots and lots of good vibes and keep navigating the waves of your soul. Bye! Okay, my pal number two, welcome to your reading. So if you chose this particular tarot deck or if you chose using this uh, candle symbol right here, then this is going to be the reading for you. As I mentioned in the introduction, today we're looking at changes coming to your life and we're going to be doing a quick... Um, tarot spreads we're going to be finding out the changes coming to your life and how to best prepare for you and i'm really excited to use this tarot deck because um, it was my very first tarot so it has a very special place in my heart and i don't really bust it out often for others but i felt cool to use it today so it's a treat for you and for me really <laughs> okay so we're going to be finding out uh, the changes coming to your life using a quick kind of spread so the first card is going to represent where you are right now your present self this is representing you know the energy of where you are at this present moment the second card and third card is going to represent the changes coming your way so what what changes are coming for you what's on the horizon and the third and fourth card is going to represent what you can do to best prepare for this for those changes how to best invite them in your life and finally, we're going to get a message of advice from your guides, from your higher self. Okay. Actually, I think there's two there. Yeah, three. Okay. So we'll have to put them right here. Hopefully you can still see that. Yeah. Okay. So the first card is your present self. And we have <laughs> the six of pentacles. Okay. Beautiful. So... Right now where you're finding yourself, my pile number two, there's this idea of, um, there's this idea here of you've been working with, um, 
in collaboration with the universe, in collaboration with your higher self, your guides, etc. for co-creating your future, for manifesting what you want. And right now it's a time where it's a bit of a giving and receiving. So you're not quite potentially seeing yet the results of your manifestation. Apples are not quite ripe yet. And at least that's how you feel. You feel like you've put a lot of effort, you've put a lot of work, you've put a lot of energy, you've put a lot of intention into something, a relationship, a career, a hobby, a spiritual practice, whatever that may be, your life in general and the hard work has not yet fully paid. So there is this idea here of not losing hope, not losing faith um, and not losing energy. It's a time of where you're like, okay, I can continue. I still have the energy to keep going, but I would like to see a little bit more results at this moment in time. I'd like to see a little bit more um, like progress. I'd like to see a little bit more changes, which is probably why you've clicked on this particular reading. So let's see the changes coming to your life now. We're going to be opening those cards up. Beautiful. We have, okay, six of cups, seven of, see, we had the six of pentacles and now we have the seven of pentacles. So things are moving forward and we also have the knight of pentacles. Uh, let me bring up those cards up close because they're beautiful. So remember I said it feels like for some of you You've done the work, you've planted the seeds, you have, you know, you're working, you're putting energy, time, love into projects, into your relationship, etc. But you haven't been quite seeing the full results. The universe is like, don't worry, um, it's coming. Things are coming, but things are taking a little bit more time and you have to be patient. We have the Knight of Pentacles here, which is a very slow but grounded energy. So the Knight of Pentacles is coming to say, that don't lose hope, don't lose faith in everything you're doing and all the work, the effort you're putting into your craft, into your job, into your family, into your relationship, into your business, into your body, your daily habits, your spirituality, whatever that may be. Don't lose hope, don't lose faith because there is a new energy of... Um, there's a new flux of energy, there's a new flux of abundance, there's a new flux of groundedness and of prosperity coming your way. But it's gonna be slow burning and it's gonna be it's not gonna be like a huge slap in the face it's gonna be more trickling in slowly and surely i'm seeing in i'm seeing this in my like mind's eye the image i got was this beautiful river like tranquil river flowing surely but surely uh, slowly but surely into your life and so i feel like for you this is gonna be kind of the vibe for my panel number two is like blessings and results and rewards coming in slow and steady but you know there's this in an infamous saying like when the, you know the turtle and the hare this fable there's like two animals a turtle and the hare or rabbit and they both do a race and at the end of the day the rabbit goes so quick that he gets lost and it's the turtle that goes very slow that ends up winning because the turtle took her time and she was um, you know she stayed to kept to her plan and she was dedicated, she didn't rush, she didn't make mistakes and in the end she won. And I feel like, I don't know why this particular fable is like coming to mind right now, but obviously this is a vibe for my pal number two, this idea of slowly and surely, slow and steady. We take our time, we make our plan, we feed our the fire and we don't use all of the woods at once so that eventually the fire is out of control. And um, if you continue to work slow and steady, um, you know, the results will come. The seven of pentacles comes after the six of pentacles. So your manifestations are on the way, my pal number two. Whatever you're working towards, whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been dreaming, they are coming. Just keep going, keep, continue the work. We also have this beautiful six of cups here. The six of cups is saying as a as kind of like changes coming, to say don't get caught up in the past my pal number two don't um even if in terms of changes coming you could be tempted to spend a lot of time in nostalgia in uh, idealizing the past idealizing your past self or past relationships or past jobs or your past 
life, whatever that may be. And uh, the universe is like, you don't have time for that. You don't have time for that. If you want to get what you want, you don't have time to be spending all this energy in the past. You need to focus on the present moment. Come back to your body, ground yourself so that you can welcome those changes in. I feel like what you're working on is going to bring you a lot of peace of mind, a lot of um, also security, a lot of safety. Look at this beautiful card here with this being waiting for their pregnancy we really i sense this idea of you're birthing something into the world my pen number two i mean some of you might actually be pregnant and you know you know that you're not gonna have your baby just right now you're still early on but obviously you know that the baby is coming for some of you you could be birthing other things like a project a special creativity there's this idea here of pregnancy and it's not quite time yet to give birth but you can still in prepare for this change and invite the beautiful energy of blessing, abundance, prosperity and love into your life because that's what that pregnancy can be like, whatever that pregnancy looks like for you. And again, like I said, for some of you, we're not talking about having a child, we're talking about birthing your business, birthing your project, birthing, um, you know, whatever that may be, a, a creative something. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at those two cards here and those represent what you can do to prepare for this what you can do to best welcome this change this energy and we have the five of pentacles more pentacles and the um page of wands and that's interesting that the page of wands is just next to the light the candle so straight away i sense that for you the how to best prepare for this long but slow and steady process is the first off is to not lose faith not lose hope and to not feel like you've been left out the universe really wants you to know with this five of pentacles here to say you've not been left out even if sometimes it feels like people are getting their what you know people are getting their blessings before you and you feel like you've been abandoned you feel like you've been left in the cold you feel like you've not been heard the universe wants you to know that you are being heard it's just that for you it might take a little bit longer maybe because the blessings are even bigger and maybe because um, it's just not right for you at this moment in time and you have to have faith in divine timing you have to have faith in the universe's plans but continuing the work continuing one step at a time remember i said the hare and the turtle continuing to being the turtle of moving forward even if it's slow because you have not been left behind don't compare yourself don't compare your growth or your success or your loving relationships or your family etc to others that won't bring you any joy that's just gonna deter your energy and lower your vibrations and um, we also have the page of wands here like i said it was just next to this candle here and look how the colors are so similar that's beautiful so this page of wands is coming as a way to say um how to best prepare for this new energy is to invite fun invite light invite passion into your life remember that we all have a little inner child within us uh, the younger version of us is still there in our soul and they crave fun they crave play they crave creativity they crave lightedness and remembering to feed that inner child um, and not to always be so serious or so focused or so cut away from the part of us that is innocent and that is joyful and that just wants to create games and pretend you know remember when we were kids everyone i'm sure you've all had those games you would create worlds in your mind you would be able to play with two sticks and rocks and create this huge fantastical world that part of us is still within us in all of us and uh, you need to tap into that my pal number two at this moment in time to help i feel like welcoming in play welcoming in fun fire lightedness um it's gonna really help you at this moment in time to um, keep your vibration high and also keep you motivated to continue the work um, to and to remember that we don't have to be so serious all the time it's 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 okay to have fun actually it's so important to have fun beautiful okay so this remember this last card it was an advice from your higher self and from your guides around uh, wow look at that we have the world card <laughs> yeah so a beautiful card this card wow i love that so the world card is here to say remember your end goals remember what you're working the first thing i heard was rome wasn't built within a day 
and remember that whatever you're bursting into the world, that huge project, that huge transformation, that huge um, tr like creation you're you're working on at this moment in time, and that's going to continue um, happening in the next few weeks, etc. It is all for this huge, beautiful end goal of um, something so beautiful, so big, so important in your life that there's no shortcuts with that. There's no shortcuts. There's no quick routes. Again, I don't know why I'm getting pulled back to the story of the hare and the turtle. The universe is like, don't try and take shortcuts. Don't try and cut corners because what you're trying to manifest is so important for your life. It is so big, so beautiful, so valuable that you want to make sure that you take your time and that you feed it everything you can that is beautiful. If you think we go back to this pregnancy here, you can't, you can't really um, have a baby in two months. You know, it takes like it takes time because it's uh, and, you know it's a long process you have to feed the baby everything healthy etc and it needs to form and you know all of that that long like biological process and you can't rush that at least technologically speaking right now you know maybe in sci-fi movies they create babies in two seconds when you know they're like in the pretend in the future and stuff like that but at this moment in time when we're watching this it's not possible to make a baby in two months right so you have to take your time and you don't rush it and you appreciate it even more when um, the baby comes but it's the same thing for whatever you're birthing into the world whatever project you're creating whatever new relationship you're attracting whatever new version of yourself you're attracting whatever new um, spiritual journey you're taking or new job you're taking or new business whatever it is book you're writing or you know this art project whatever that may be there's no rushing there's no taking shortcuts because it's so important it's so valuable it's so beautiful that it deserves time it deserves attention it deserves energy and it deserves your full um, attention my pile number two remember what is at stake here what is at stake is something that is life transformative that will change you forever and for the better something so beautiful so nourishing i'm also hearing it's not just about the end goal it's also about the journey there's something here for you to learn along the journey that's going to be just as valuable as the destination when you get to the destination you also have to enjoy the journey my pal number two beautiful so we're going to be pulling one last message from your guides and uh, this will wrap up our reading one last message for you and look, revel in your unique beauty. A beautiful message right here. For me, this links back to this five of pentacles of not comparing yourself to others, not comparing your growth to others, not comparing your journey to others, because everyone is on a different path. And remember how unique you are, how beautiful you are. Beautiful, my pile number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't hesitate to give my video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel, especially if the reading resonated with you. It's a nice exchange of energy. You can also leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. And until my next video, as per usual, I am sending you lots and lots of good vibes and keep navigating the waves of your soul. Bye! Hey, my pile number three, welcome to your reading. So if you chose this particular tarot deck or the crown symbol right here, then this is going to be the reading for you. And as I mentioned in the introduction today, we're going to be looking at the changes coming to your life and how to best prepare for them. So we're going to be pulling a simple tarot spread. I'm trying to make this reading quite short today because God knows if you watch any of my other picker cards, you know I like to talk and give you the full rundown. <laughs> But today I wanted to give you a bit of a shorter guidance, something that will be a little bit more straight to the point. Um, and this is going to be a timeless reading. Okay, so we're going to start by putting our spread. Okay, the first card is going to represent your present self. So this is where you are right now, the energy of where you're finding yourself at this moment in time, regardless of when you're watching this video. The second and third card are going to represent what is coming your way, what is on the horizon for you, my pile number three, what's coming for you in terms of changes. The fourth and uh, fifth card are going to represent what you can do to prepare for this, how to best welcome those changes, how to best work with the universe to welcome this change. And finally, we're going to get a message from your guides, from your higher self, um, to wrap up the reading. Beautiful. Okay, so 
Uh, first card, your present self. Let's see where you are right now. The Emperor. Wow. Okay. So this is a time of expansion for you, my pile number three. It's a time for really um, setting up your empire, building your, your, your in really owning your power and you're really embodying your the boss of your own life right you've decided uh, to to really realize at this moment now that at this moment in time that you are the ceo of your life my pile number three and so it's a time of expansion you're getting outside of your comfort zone lately you've been pushing your own boundaries you've been trying new things but also you've been setting up some new challenges for yourself you've been really potentially taking on a leading role whether it's at work in your family or in your relationships you're kind of paving the way but also um, in a way where you're not imposing yourself but it just comes naturally because it comes from a place of inner power inner worth and knowing what you want you're really at a place right now where you know what you want and you're working for that and nothing can stand in your way by pen number three because um not in the not because you're like i said not because you're going to be stepping on anyone's toes but because the path is really open right now for you to do your thing so whatever energy you're putting into whatever you're focusing on right now there's really this idea of the past is open and you can really set your boundaries you can set your goals and you can manifest what you want and uh, build your empire my pile number three beautiful so it's a time of expansion already i can sense some of you have been pushed to go outside your comfort zone pushed to try new things that maybe you didn't feel comfortable doing and now you're realizing actually you know what i can do this i've got this in the bag i'm okay i'm not as scared as i thought i'm not as intimidated as i thought i'm not as shy as i thought whatever it may be you're realizing you're stronger than you thought you were and you've got this which is a really good feeling <laughs> okay those two cards now are gonna be the changes coming your way and let's see what we have okay we have the world again this card is coming up a lot lately um we have the seven of swords and the world beautiful okay so the change is coming whatever you're working on at this moment in time whatever empire you're building whether you, again you're you're asserting yourself in your job or you're like climbing the ladder getting a promotion all of that or you're asserting yourself in your relationships you know deciding to move in with someone or maybe making things a little bit more serious or finding a new partner or maybe it's in your daily habits you've put some challenges for yourself like I don't know why I'm getting this really random like fitness goal coming in like maybe some of you are doing some sort of like uh, couch to couch to 3k or couch to 5k whatever you know those kind of like fitness challenges where you work yourself to doing something that's coming through for some of you as well what that kind of energy that you've been putting to assert yourself it will accomplish it will succeed it will bring you a sense of completion of joy of achievement the world card here is saying that you know you are going to be successful in your endeavors that your efforts won't be in vain and that you'll be able to celebrate all the journey you've taken all the efforts you've put in the love you've put in the time the effort the money the investment all of that and this is potentially why we had the crown remember so we have the emperor who's like crowned and we have the crown right here so that's not a coincidence obviously synchronicities the universe works in wonderful ways so we have this beautiful synchronicity here to say you're building your empire and that will bring you a lot of um, prosperity security stability abundance love um, peace of mind whatever you're working towards it will succeed it will happen do you have the seven of swords though and the seven of swords is an interesting card to me um in tarot it often gets a bad rep like sometimes people tend to narrow it down to like oh you're gonna get cheated by your boyfriend it's like honey this is not just that this card is so oftentimes just shrink shrunk um shrink or shrunk you know what she shrink shrunk shrunk yeah shrunk it is oftentimes shrunk to being just like so such a small facet of this card so the seven of swords is actually coming here to say don't play yourself during the next few weeks the next few the next couple of months etc my pile number three don't try and cheat yourself out of your victory and that's super interesting so what do i mean by that the message that's coming clearly is the only thing that could be standing in the way of your success 
that is coming your whatever you're working towards remember i said it will succeed whatever could be standing in your way my pile number three is yourself so don't be your own worst enemy don't be your own self-saboteur don't be the one that lets their ego get in the way of their success that's the only kind of little trigger warning that is happening is to say because you could be achieving great things some of you you could be graduating from college some of you and you know that's something that you've been working on for a long time for some of you it could be you're passing your driving license and that's something you've been working on for a long time or for some of you it could be you're gonna um you know start this new relationship or create this new family Whatever it may be, or, or you know, finally run the marathon. <laughs> Remember I said that there's something you've been working on for a long time and it's finally going to happen. But the only thing that could get in your way of slowing things down or, did, or like kind of putting obstacles on the road is your own mind, your own ego and your tendency to believe that it won't happen for you, that you're not good enough, that you're not intelligent enough, that you're not... Uh, beautiful enough that you're not worthy enough or that you're to this or not that or you know the seven of sword here is really saying don't let your mind get in your own way don't let your ego stop you from your getting the blessings and the abundance and the success that you deserve because you deserve them you have the crown it's your time for coronation my bottom three you've done the work you're still doing the work you've put the efforts in you deserve you are worthy, you deserve it, you are good enough for this, you are worthy of this, you don't need to compare yourself to others or you don't need to make yourself feel small and you certainly do not need to let your ego tell you otherwise so this is why the seven of swords is coming right here as a way to say don't cheat yourself okay so let's see those two cards here those two cards are going to represent uh, what you can do to prepare for this change. And we have Justice, yep, and Four of Pentacles. Okay, so now is not the time for making mad moves. <laughs> now is not the time for acting like a random, spontaneous, etc. If there is this particular goal you've been working on, and like I said, this could take many facets for lots of, depending on who's watching, it'll be different. Um, whatever you're working on, you're putting your energy on, the Four of Pentacles is coming to say is not the time now to be making crazy moves, to be going at, you know, to be spontaneous and make bets. You don't want to be that kind of, that. it's not the time to be like all or nothing. It's more the time to be playing it safe, to continue doing what you're doing and to continue um, taking it one step at a time without being like I said spontaneous or like just acting out of impulses now is the time sometimes it's good to do that but sometimes it's important to just do it taking it slow one pace at a time and kind of keeping what you're doing is working so you can keep on doing it and it will work right it's not time to try something crazy try something new because um, you could be getting in the way again of your own success so continue doing what you're doing um, also um, there's this idea here with the four of pentacles of keeping your like not investing in things that you know are not necessarily good for you so if some of you are trying to save for a new house a new flat etc then now is obviously not the time to be spending your money on tacos and lipsticks and random last minute book trips to wherever i mean i don't know where you could go right now because with the panini we can't really go anywhere but you know you have to choose the house or the last minute random trip that you booked on a whim because you were drinking wine with your girlfriends like you know the vibe if you want the house then it's time to be sensi sensible is what i'm getting it so whatever that's going to apply for all of you you know um, and i know being sensible is not the kind of advice we want to hear trust me i'm an aries so that's the last thing i want to hear when i'm doing my tarot readings it's like sensible what i don't know what that is but this is the message today. We also have justice. So how to best prepare for this, my pile number three, for this change, for this, you know, welcoming success, abundance, results of your hard work is really, I'm sensing with this justice card, it's kind of resonating back to the seven of swords is like, you deserve whatever you're going to get. You deserve it. It's your birthright. It was planned for you before you even could imagine it. It was 
like plan for you by karma, by destiny, by fate, whatever you you call it, whatever you believe in. There is this idea of uh, you deserve it because it is fair, because it is just. So don't feel ashamed, don't feel guilty, don't feel like you don't deserve it, don't feel like you don't deserve a, the, to find the best relationship in your life, or you don't deserve to find the, the job of your dreams, or you don't deserve to find the perfect flat for you, or you don't deserve to be to be healthy and to have, a, you know, the best body for you, like a body that you feel good in, like you deserve whatever you're working on. And uh, Justice Card is saying like, you're not taking away from anyone else's blessings. So stop getting in your own way because this is yours by birthright and you deserve. Hey, so we're gonna finish up with the advice from your guides, from your higher self, from the universe around this new time, this change. And wow, look, we have this super powerful card right here. So the death card is really coming in to say it's time of deep transformation and it's a time of, remember I said whatever you're manifesting right now, whatever you're working on, it's gonna be your birth, it is your birthright, it is what you deserve, it's, it's fate, it's karma and so death is coming to say that um, as an advice to say, don't try and hold on to things that are no longer working for you. Don't try and hold on to people that are not meant to continue for you with this journey. Um, don't try and hold on to situations and habits, etc. that are not meant to carry on with you. This new blessing, this new beginning, this manifestation, this goal, whatever is coming through, this success, it is going to come up at the price of potentially having to say goodbye to certain things, potentially certain friends no longer meant to stay with you, or a habit, an old version of yourself, a, an old lifestyle, you know? And um, that can sometimes feel scary and it can sometimes stand in our way of actually us manifesting what we want because we're scared of what we don't know, we're scared of change but um this is you know change is good this is why you clicked on this particular reading because you want change deep down your subconscious wants change and the message from your higher self and from your guide right now is to say you know if there is if there are goodbyes to be said grieve but also welcome in the new because we have this beautiful sunrise here saying it's a new dawn so don't spend too much time grieving for what you can't take with you on the contrary, welcome and embrace change, welcome and embrace new beginnings, welcome and embrace this um, beautiful new energy because there is so much to be celebrated. The world card is really a card of celebration, of achievement, of self, um, being proud of yourself for everything you've overcome and everything you've accomplished. And so the death card is here is really saying time, it's a time of renewal, of rebirth, of transformation, of complete um, rewriting your story and claiming what has meant to be yours all this time. It was always meant to be yours. It was always what you deserved. It was always worthy. You were always worthy of it. Um, so now you need to claim it. Claim what is yours. Beautiful, beautiful reading. My Panama 3, wow, super powerful. Okay, we're going to be pulling one last card as last advice. Focus on your own peace. See, I can't say it any more. Um, I can't say it any better. Lena's re resonating with his death card here. Quiet down your thoughts. Quiet down that self-sabotage mentality. Quiet down your inner saboteur. Go within, focus on yourself, focus on your peace. Potentially you could benefit from meditation or any kind of practice where you can invite uh, quietness. That's also coming through. And... Um, that's a beautiful uh, message right there. So my pile number three, this is all I'm saying for you today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't hesitate to leave my video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow and it's a nice exchange of energy, especially if the reading resonated with you. You can also leave me a comment. I love to read from you. And until my next video, as per usual, I'm sending you lots and lots of good vibes and keep navigating the waves of your soul. Bye.